Is it more important to follow your dreams or to follow your family? Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and today I'm going to tell you about the new Pixar movie called Coco. Coco is the story of a little boy named Miguel who wants to be a musician, which is great, which is wonderful because music is awesome. Problem is, his family does not approve because way, way back in the day, Miguel's great-great-grandfather decided he wanted to be a musician too. And so he took his guitar and he took off on his family. And they have been hating him and trying to erase them from their memory ever since. So Miguel wants to be a musician and he has a guitar, but his family finds his guitar at the beginning of the movie and they destroy it. So in order to compete in this competition that he wants to participate in, he has to go to the grave or actually more kind of like a shrine, you know, type of, type of, uh, uh, thing for a famous musician in the community named Ernesto de la Cruz and uh, this community that this family lives in Everybody else loves music. Everybody is huge about music. This de la Cruz guy is pretty much kind of their their idol And all of this happens around the Day of the Dead celebration Which is really really big in Mexico, which is where this is set if I didn't clarify that anyway uh, Miguel decides that in order to compete in the, in the competition he has to go steal the guitar of de la Cruz and when he grabs it he plays a chord to see if it still sounds good, and it transports him to the land of the dead, which is where this movie takes place. So basically, the premise of Coco is that Miguel has to find his way back from the land of the dead into the land of the living. And in the process, he learns about his family and his ancestors who are in the land of the dead. And there's just kind of this really, really cool theme about learning about where you came from and what is important to you. And what I found really, really interesting about this movie is that early on, they kind of set up this polarity where your dreams are coming into conflict with your loyalty to your family, which are both usually good things. I mean, most movies and most stories kind of celebrate the idea of chasing your dreams, but they also celebrate the idea of, of uh, celebrating your family. And in this movie, they're kind of coming into conflict. And of course, they try to resolve that by the end of the movie. And uh, it finishes with a really, really nice message that uh, I think, honestly, if you have ever had any interest in ancestry or family history, this one will really, really ring true to you. Now, I say I did really like it. I gave this one three stars out of four because I didn't like it as much as some other Pixar outings. Now this has some really great anim animation. There's a fantastic story. There's a fantastic message. It didn't hit me as hard as some other Pixar movies have uh, in that way, kind of like uh, Inside Out one. Uh, Moana last year isn't technically a Pixar movie. It's more of, a, I think it's just kind of Disney. Uh, but those ones I think, uh, reverber reverberated a little bit better. Um, Coco is still good. It doesn't feel like the message quite hits as hard as it, as it could have though. And so I only gave this one three stars out of four. That being said, I would still highly recommend this. I think this is a, a, a movie that families would absolutely love. Totally appropriate for all, for all ages. Uh, this is some, I think it's basically PG. I honestly can't remember anything. Uh, you know, it's a Pixar movie. And so you can pretty much expect uh, kind of a, a, a family friendly content level. Um, there's a little bit of, uh, I mean, he's, he's in the land of the dead, and so there are a lot of skeletons that are animated stuff, but it's not really scary. I'd be pretty surprised even if, if little kids were, were frightened by this one. So does it bother you that I haven't explained why the movie's called Coco? Leave your answers in the comments below. So thanks for watching. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry, and I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel on the way out and leave your notifications on so you can see our new clips as soon as they're available. And while you're at it, check out our friends at Rocket Gator for their fine waterproof backpacks and fantastic socks. And we'll see you next time.